Hello YouTube, so today's video, I'm back here working on the S10 Blazer. So I'm gonna be changing out the distributor cap and rotor. And this video is not actually of how to or uh, uh, any type of sort of that type of video. It's more of um update. So make sure you guys stay tuned and here we go. Dirty dudes! Alright, so like I said, it's not a how-to video. But um, I'm trying to fix that problem with the um, truck not starting. Um, there is a crank but it, the engine doesn't turn so hopefully changing out this part the cap distributor cap and rotor will hopefully fix it if not I'm gonna be changing out that ignition uh, coil so uh, let's get to it to it all right so I already actually removed the um, cap and rotor I disconnected the plugs um, I do have a, a video if you guys are curious on how to remove this there's a, a video I'll put a link for you guys somewhere up here if you're curious on how to actually replace that um, again hopefully I get uh, this truck running 100% um, and um, let's get to it all right as you can see how bad this is hopefully this will fix the problem finally hopefully it's this, if this does this, I'm probably going to be changing that uh, ignition coil. But look how bad this thing looks. I changed this uh, three years ago. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully this fixes the problem. Hopefully this thing is still under warranty. All right, so off to AutoZone. Again, hopefully that um, distributor cap and um, rotor are still under warranty. If not, I guess I'm gonna buy it. And hopefully I fix that problem because it's really been a pain for the past maybe two years, maybe I guess. So off to AutoZone in the zone not sponsored by the way wink wink hit me up AutoZone all right guys so I'm leaving AutoZone and it did actually cover the warranty so I have a new distributor cap and rotor so um, let's get back home and install this part hopefully again we fix this if not I'm gonna be changing out that um, ignition coil and I'm before I do I'm gonna go show you guys um, how to test it out um, to see if there's a spark between the um, the spark wire, cable wire, whatever you guys want to call it, and the actual coil. Okay, so let's get to it, to it, do it, to it. All right, so this technique I don't recommend. So what I did is disconnect the spark plug, a wire boot, and I disconnected the fuel pump fuse. And I'm going to go ahead and crack the engine to see if there's a spark. Um, going to the boot to the ignition coil all right so this is going to be the new one again I'm happy uh, the warranty covered uh, this because this is kind of pricey I think it's like 60 bucks for both so it's pretty cool the warranty was covered um, it does come with the the bolts, screws, whatever you guys want to call them. They kept the box and they kept the uh, the ones I removed, the coil and uh, distributor cap. All right, so the first step is done. I already um, installed the 
the rotor make sure you guys don't uh, tighten those little bolts too tight because they are super small so the smaller the screw or bolt is the less torque it really actually needs so let's uh, go ahead and put that uh, cap and uh, connect all those plugs and give it a whirl hopefully again it fixes everything and now I'm gonna be have to be changing out this uh, ignition coil all right so I already have everything plugged in everything's uh, tight all the bolts all the wires I did numberize all the, um, the spark plug wires on each side you can see again if you're curious make sure you hit that link somewhere up here where I actually have a video on how to replace this uh, distributor cap and rotor all right so let's uh, give it a try all right so let's give it a try hopefully it turns it on the problem I'm gonna run it a couple of days and I'll get back at you guys hopefully um, again it fixes this problem and get this truck running 100% fixing that 4x4 and uh, the other little details I have in this truck all right guys so I'm coming from you from the future so it's been two weeks at least since they changed that uh, rotor and distributor cap and so far it's been running good it's been starting up as uh, regular as normal as ever um so it's been going good so you think it's been uh you think the truck's been running a little bit better since they changed that uh rotor and distributor cap yes i think it's running a little bit better you think it's been running uh, uh, uh it's getting closer to running at a hundred percent I think it's running maybe at 75%. Well, there you have it, guys. Maybe 75% better than uh, 50%, but it's getting there, guys. Uh, let's keep this video going. All right, guys. So I'm also going to give you guys a little update what's been going on with the Infinity. Um, I did replace those uh, headlights, um, but I do have a problem with the driver's side uh, headlight. And uh, the ballast actually went out. So right now I've been driving with um, with the high beams. I'm also going to be changing out those fog lights. Uh, so uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you guys what uh, fog lights I'm going to be changing them to. Alright, so these are the ones I'm going to be using. They are going to be amber. going to be your part number. This is going to be your aux beam. And these are the ones I, use, I used before. And these are the ones that just came in. Have a little fan and everything. So we'll see during the night. The difference between the two. Hopefully uh, they don't disappoint me. But uh, we'll see. Alright as you can see. This is during the day. The sun's still out. A big difference I'm just gonna change out one and we'll wait till it's dark so I can show you a, an even um, comparison so you can see the lights not working I did already get the ballast but to change out these lights or just the ballast I have to take off the whole bumper disconnect the the fog lights take off the plate that thing is held up by like five screws. And this is the one that's working. I am gonna do a review on these lights though. I didn't show you how I installed these because um, under the bumper there's a lot of damages. The bracket that holds this light is actually broke. I need to replace that bracket. Um, and everything's um, not aligned. I really don't like that, but I'm gonna get all that fixed. Um, it's just a little update video once again uh, I bought the I bought these to change them out because I actually bought the ballast I'm probably just gonna change out the ballast 
Um, but I really do hate that everything's un unaligned. So I need to get that fixed ASAP. But again, I need to get the blazer running at 100% so I could be using that in the meanwhile. Focus, my dude. No focus. Still no focus. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Well, I need to get the truck running at 100% so I could actually get this fixed. And I'm probably going to put it in the shop so I can get it professionally done. I don't know if I'm going to wrap it. I still want to do some wheels on it. Change some exhaust. Lower it. Um, hopefully I get this all done by this year. Don't forget the merch. My boy Block. The hella horns. My boy Marcus, make sure you guys check him out. He's the one that does my tattoos. Again, hopefully do this by the end of this year. All right, as you can see, the difference is gonna be your LED. Uh, the one with the little fan in the back. It's gonna be the other one. The old version, the new version. Let me cover one side up and the other one so you can see the, the difference. My light is still out, by the way. All right, so this is gonna be the driver's side that is uh, covered. As you can see, this is gonna be the, the new one with the little fan, the, the one I just installed. I'm gonna uncover it so you can see. There's no real big difference. And let's cover this one up. And as you can see real quick, the difference. That is crazy. Different. Got that light. I do have a video on that uh, installation on that uh, lighted up emblem. I'll put a link for you guys somewhere up here. Let me make sure you guys uh, check it out. But that is a big difference. Super cool though. Just to compare the both. I wish that light worked. I could show you guys and give you a final review on these uh, headlights because I know they get a lot of the hate on these um, lights. And um, I be I'll be honest, I'll be driving with the uh, high beams on, and um, they've been lighting up all right. But this video is about those uh, fog lights. They're pretty cool. Yeah, let me cover them real quick again. Covering the the driver's side. cool beans all right guys there you go hopefully you find this video useful and entertaining like always thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and again hopefully i get that blazer running at 100 percent so i could give you guys more videos on the blazer and also so i could actually finish up the infinity so again guys thank you guys for watching subscribe like and share.